someone asked you, like, what is Disney? What does it mean? Uh, before we ask the question of, like, what is it good for? Like, what do you think about it? Um, I, part, okay, so here, let, let me, yes. like, give you part of the thought process that's going on. I'm, I'm battling a few things as I think about this. And one of them is that I like to be a naysayer and okay. like nitpick things that are yeah. bad. And and I think with everything, you can always find good or whatever, less than good things. Sure. But I like to tend to kind of draw out the things that are less than good and then yeah. define the whole thing by that, Yes, which is not a good thing always, right? Yeah. So that's one thing. The other thing is like, like what Disney are we talking about? Got it. Because I think that yeah. Disney is a very has gone through a metamorphosis of its own at different points. Yeah, sure. And like the Disney that I grew up on or like that we grew up yes. on is very different than the Disney that is today. Um, All right. We'll do Utopian so, Disney and current Disney. Yeah. So like Utopian Disney are like the heyday of Disney yeah. when like those, you know, all the the sort of like great animated movies were coming out. The Lion King, The Little Mermaid. Obviously they weren't inventing, but like, you know, yeah. putting these out, Lion King, Little Mermaid. Fantasia. No. Um <laughs> Um, Beauty and the Beast. Uh, yeah. I mean, at the far Snow end, White. yeah, and at the Seven far Wars. end is like Mulan, like you know that kind of Pocahontas, Just like that generation of shark. yeah, yeah. Um, I I give it a thumbs up. Yeah, I do. I think that the way that Disney, at least with respect to the movies, was able to take either sort of stories, classic stories or themes, or use like yeah, stories that I mean, most of their movies and stuff are stories that existed before that. Then they mm -hmm. kind of yep. put their own twist on and make it. Um, I think they're they're it's good storytelling. Mm -hmm. I think it's generally like good music. Yep. Um, it's good like art in the sense of like the animation and that sort of thing. But I think most importantly, like what it teaches mm -hmm. is it, it 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 still adheres to like the right sort of lanes of like good and evil. And doesn't yeah. mix those sort of things. That's now, like true. obviously, sometimes the heroes go through their like crisis of whatever, and yeah. you know. But the like, I, I mm -hmm. even though it's a cliche, I think it's a good thing that like the good guy wins, yes, and the bad guy loses, or like the love story comes true, like because yeah. because those, yeah, it's yeah. Though that that's no, I like that. That's the narrative structure and the focus on the, the black and whiteness. Oh, we wouldn't, because the minute say black and white, well, the world's not black and white. But there is the sense in which good and evil are distinct. Yeah. Good is not evil, evil is not good. And that when you're educating children, they learn best through stories. Most of us love stories. And, and that you need to imprint in them some of these messages for all sorts of educational reasons. Right. Um, and Disney has that way, the traditional trad Disney, um, has this this way of telling these stories about good and evil, love, and you know that have the nice dramatic arc. They think through those things, but at the end of the day, uh, the world is a good place. Father Jacob Bertrand, would you say that you're optimistic about this subscription appeal? N no. Would you say that you're optimistic about anything? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I am. Um, folks, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We'd greatly appreciate it. Cheers.